So you have your nice shiny new SBC and you want to know how to load up an OS image onto an SD card. This video will show you how to do it on a Mac for any target SBC. If you want to see how to do it on Linux or Windows, then check out my other videos. There are several ways of doing this on a Mac. One is to use a GUI application and the other is to use command line tools. I took a look at these applications. Both Etcher and PyFiller seem to be the most reliable GUI method to use for any SBC. They're simple, do the job, and handle all the OSX complexities for you without issue. Etcher is cross-platform and runs on Linux, Windows, and Mac. The command line DD is really only for people who know what they're doing. If you use this method, you run the risk of overriding your OS disk and losing all your data. You have been warned. Some GUI applications like Apple Pie Baker can decompress a compressed image while it's writing, which is nice. But since we're using PyFiller and Etcher, the image will need to be extracted first. There are a number of archiving tools in the App Store. The one that seems to support the most compression formats is the Unarchiver. This will extract the SD image for you. In this case, it was a Pine64 image. PyWriter had some serious bugs in it which attempted to unmount my Mac's boot disk. It would also be too fiddly for a novice user to work with. Apple PyBaker in its current version is hanging under Yosemite, so I never got to try it out this time. Hopefully the developer can fix this up as it looked promising. Download the PyFiller zip file from their website. Once downloaded, extract the zip which will create the usual app directory. You can just copy this to your applications folder in the normal manner. I just ran it from the downloads directory. Once it starts, it will give you the usual warning about destroying data and then sit there waiting for you to insert the SD card. I used a USB to micro SD card adapter. Any converter or adapter will work the same. PyFiller will detect the new SD card and warn you again of impending doom and warn you again just to be sure, at which point it requires your login password as it needs to perform actions as root, such as unmounting disks and writing to the SD card, at which point you can go away and have a cup of tea or beer or protein shake and come back a while later to this. Click on quit and make sure you eject the file system as OSX will auto detect this new file system. Etcher is a great little cross-platform application that does the same thing. Download the Etcher DMG file from their website. Once downloaded, install in the usual manner and run it. You're presented with the same GUI as the other platforms. Select the image, plug in your SD card and click flash and it'll chug away writing to the SD card. Hmm, speaking of chugging, I'm thirsty. Oh and we're back and it's nearly finished. Once it gets to this stage, you can eject it and plug it into your SBC. This method has a higher risk of failure. If you don't know what you're doing, I'd suggest using PyFiller or Etcher. There's several steps to using DD. First, insert your SD card. Next, open up a terminal session and check to see what device file the SD card appears as. Then unmount the disk partition, but don't eject, otherwise the device file will vanish as well. In this case, I'm going to write the Pine64 image to the SD card. You can do this using the DD command, but of course, it requires admin access via sudo to achieve this. Just to explain the command a bit more, if is the input file, of is the output file, remember everything is a file under Unix, vs is a block size which in this case we're using one megabyte. This will write data in one meg chunks to the SD card. This can be any value but if it's too small your writing time increases too high and the law of diminishing returns takes effect. Now you can go away and obtain the beverage of your choice and come back approximately 596 seconds later or thereabouts. If you want to see some progress report while it's writing then you you'll need to install a more modern version of DD. I tend to use Fink and Mac ports on OS X. Installing this really is for another video, but once you have it installed, you can run a command like this, which will give you feedback on where it's up to. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial on how to write to an SD card. Hopefully I've given you some options to use. If you like this channel, you can subscribe or follow by clicking any of the icons on the screen. I put up a new video every week on tutorials, reviews, and also in-depth look at technology explanations. Until then, see you next time.